Warning, this computer game reflects the cultural context and sensibilities of the time in which it was created. Be advised that it contains politically incorrect content, including racial stereotypes, sexism, and other inappropriate themes. Additionally, the script may exhibit an immaturity of tone. Proceed with caution. Hey, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Okay, bud. Listen up. Hear why I called you. I've mislaid a few reels of my new movie, and I need them back. That's where you come in. I want you to find them. There's more money in it for you than you've probably ever seen. At least two hundred smackers. A hundred up front, and the rest when you deliver. There's a catch, though. They must be delivered back to me intact, so don't be getting too curious about the contents. This is important to me, and I need them back real quick. But Foist, I need to see some credentials. What's devoid at page 5, paragraph 3, line 3, void 3? Don't count the paragraph headings. Yeah, okay. You deem to be the real thing. Now go get my film. He seems a pleasant enough sort, if a little Neanderthal. This is an ashtray. We do not condone its use. It is used to support a dying habit. This appears to be a customer. He and his kind keep hostelries in business long after they should have closed down. She is actually a he, but he seems friendly. Hi, how are you? Hi, my name's Edwina. My, you're a bit of a cutie. Tell me about the film. Well, honey, from what I hear, Bella Lugosi had a reel of it before he died. But that's only hearsay. Hey, have a drink with me. Nice hairdo. Why, thank you. I get it done in this place, just around the corner from where Bella used to live, down on good old Vlad the Impaler Street. Well, so long now. Mmm, oh yes, call in any time, honey. Hey, don't mess with the goods. If you want it, pay for it.
Hi, how are you? Hey, order a drink or shut up. Who's the guy in the dress? Look, I said order a drink or shut up and I meant it. Nice bar you have here. You start to utter a few words, but at the sight of the bat, you think better of it. I'd like to buy the rum. It's $15 cash if you want it. Take it or leave it. I'll pay cash. Thanks. Always like to see a satisfied customer. There's nothing remarkable about it. It certainly isn't going to help you find those reels of film. It's an early Queen Anne desk with a single drawer in it. This early bird really gets the worm. It contains key, which you take. Danny Jack's paint dry. Fine whiskey. I'll not drink that stuff again in a hurry. The last time I did. But that's another story entirely. Glen or Glenda, a 1953 feature directed by and featuring Edward D. Woods with Bella Lugosi. It dealt with matters of a sexual nature. This is a photo of a dame called Tura Satana. A comment scrawled in the corner reads, You promised to take me to Hollywood, but all I got was this lousy wet t-shirt. The dam in this photo is called Roberta Findlay. A comment scrawled in the corner reads, The only part I ever got from you was a little one. This is a photo of a dame called Vampira. There is an address scribbled in the corner. It reads Lot 9, Pleasant Rest, Highgate. Hi. How are you? Good day, sir. Call me a taxi, please. Certainly, sir. Just a moment. Your taxi is waiting outside, sir. So long, then. I'm off. Have a nice day, sir. Okay, bud. Where y'all wanna go? Lot 9. Pleasant rest. High gate. Okay. I'm on my way. This is a corpse. He looks remarkably fresh, a little peaked and pale, but fresh. He even looks a little hungry, but definitely not for steak. It contains house keys, which you take. This is a hammer. 
It vaguely reminds you of some horror movies. Okay, bud, where y'all wanna go? Vlad the Impaler Street. Okay, I'm on my way. Unlocking the door, you slip in, closing it behind you. They appear to be about subjects as diverse as wide-ranging as Great Emerson, Lake and Palmer concerts and programming in Cobol. They all are sleep-inducing. This rather gaudy advertisement extols the wonders of a local shopping mall. It is a bundle of Bella Lugosi promotional photographs. the hide of a creature which used to be used by primitive people to protect them from the cold, now used by people to protect walls from dust. The trophy moves just a slight bit to the left and then swings back. A credit card falls out, which you pick up. Okay, bud, where y'all want to go? Hyper Mega Mall. Okay, I'm on my way. The last person that tried that only comes out at night now. This is a voodoo mask. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. Van Helsing Fine Tools. Bats in your belfry? For just $9.95, this could be the answer to all your needs. Hey, don't mess with the goods. If you want it, pay for it. Seen in bats around lately. It could be arranged if you desire it. I'd like to buy the mask. Certainly. Cash or credit.
tracks? Thanks very much. I have to be going. Very well, I may see you again. Maybe some dark night. This is a vampire mask. It looks to be covered in a substance which is thicker than water. Made in Cuba, according to the label, it contains note which you take, small key which you take. It reads fangs for the memory. It has a bank symbol and a number on it. It's a large map of the world, with the most popular holiday destinations marked on it, for example, a sunshine holiday in Kuwait, shooting holiday in Beirut, A. Eh? Apart from these, the other most popular destinations seem to be Rio de Janeiro, Havana, Sydney, and Hong Kong. Now, wait, a minute here. You are inside the travel agency. He is travel agent. He looks like he is fairly well-traveled himself. Hello there. Hello, sir. How may I help you? Is this the Taxidermy Institute? Get stuffed. I'd like a book of flight. Certainly, sir. We're doing a special on Rio at the moment. Uh, actually, Rio is all we've got at the moment. I'll take it. Trex? I'm sure you'll like this, sir. We have the new Super Duper Apex, Zenith, Diamond, Gold and Silver Flight Package. And they really are very comfortable packing crates. He is a hardware store attendant. He failed the Sears entrance exam. You are inside a hardware store. Hey, don't mess with the goods. If you want it, pay for it. Nice day for gathering corn. It is that for sure, good buddy. I'd like to buy the spade. Sure thing, pal. Now, will that be greenbacks or those new fangled plastic things? Prex? That's a good buy, bud. That'll dig many fine ditch for you. So long. See about, pal. It's the latest full color, larger and more realistic than real like self-repairing photocopier from the Z Corporation. Click were. Hey look, here's a photograph. It's a rather gnarly copy of your passport photograph.
she is a bank teller, though it looks like she isn't doing much telling. Hello there. Hello, sir. How may I help you? I'd like some foreign currency. Certainly, sir. May I see your credit card? You offer her your Transylvanian Express gold card, which she accepts. Thank you, Mr. Lugosi. That will do nicely. Now, which currency did you want? Brazil? I'd like some foreign currency. Certainly, sir. May I see your credit card? You offer her your Transylvanian Express gold card, which she accepts. Thank you, Mr. Lugosi. That will do nicely. Now, which currency did you want? Washington? I'd like some foreign Certainly, currency. Certainly, sir. May I see your credit card? You offer her your Transylvanian Express gold card, which she accepts. Thank you, Mr. Lugosi. That will do nicely. Now, which currency did you want? Australia? I'd like some foreign currency. Certainly, sir. May I see your credit card? You offer her your Transylvanian Express gold card, which she accepts. Thank you, Mr. Lugosi. That will do nicely. Now, which currency did you want? Hong Kong. Thank you. Good day. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. This is a Transylvanian Express gold card. It has the number 350143 scrawled on the back in pencil. Ah, you wish to see your safe deposit, sir. Which number was it again? Box 5. 30143. She leads you into the safety deposit room, produces you safety deposit book, and returns the key to you. Nope, sorry, dead end that. Nope, sorry, dead end that. This is a Transylvanian Express gold card. It has the number 350143 scrawled on the back in pencil. It's a largish safety deposit box. It's a largish safety deposit box. It is a reel of film. On the canister is the word Wun. Okay, bud, where y'all want to go? Lot 9. Pleasant rest. High gate. Okay, I'm on my way.
You dig for a while, making a shallow hole in the grave. You continue digging. The hole is now quite big. It's a recently reopened grave. It contains film reel, which you take. It is a reel of film. The word of is written on the casing. Okay, bud, where y'all want to go? Aviation way. Okay, I'm on my way. She takes no notice at all. She's one of these toothy, grinny types, but she also looks vaguely familiar. Thank you for choosing Wing and a Prayer Airlines, sir. You may end plane now, if you so wish. Enjoy. A fine example of a blue-eyed flying boy. This guy must have an awful lot of relations, and boy is that a dodgy looking mustache. Hi, how are you? Great buddy, nice day for a flight. Know a place to stay in Rio? Yeah, there's this little place I always stay at, the Macho Hombre, it's really cheap. The dernedest thing though. Last time I was there, I left something behind me. If you go along that way, you yeah, might pick it up for me. The name's Steve Peters. I think you do a great job. Oh, gee, you're so flattering. Well, I must be going. Bye now, nice talking to you. She looks vaguely familiar. Hi, gorgeous. Hello, senor. How may I help you? I'd like a room, please. Certainly. Which room would you like? I'd like room 21. Certainly, senor. Here is your key. It's hard to imagine that anyone would actually sleep here. Captain S. Peters, 21 Aviation Way, Studio Town. It has rather fetching picture of him in it. Nope, 
Sorry, dead end that. You manage to ease up the edge of the laminate just enough to slip your picture in. He's trying to catch a few rays and looks like he's sleeping. They appear to be completely engrossed in each other. She is very beautiful, but doesn't seem to want to be disturbed. He is a surly, uncommunicative Latin type. A horde of vampire bats sweep towards you. You prepare for the worst, but it doesn't come. At the last minute, they see your picture of Bela, and tearing it from your grasp, they retire to a dark corner with it simpering, My Hero. You are inside a cave full of vampire bats. As you enter the airport, you are set upon by a number of security guards who take you off to a side room. Senor, we have been watching you since your arrival into the country, and we feel you have some questions to answer, if you will please accompany me. You are forcibly dragged out to unmarked van, in which you are driven hastily to a police station. So, senor, you thought you could outwit the great Brazilian Polisha, eh? I'm minding my own business. Aha, uh -huh. we have a cheeky one, eh? Where's the beach? If you don't watch out, senor, you will not be seeing beach for a very long time. Can I go now? For a small consideration, I might see my way to releasing you. How about 20? I'm sure you can manage more than that, senor. I have 10 children to support. How about 30? Yes, more like it, senor. But what about Lil Pablo's birthday present? How about 40? Lil Pablo has the beginnings of a smile on his face now, senor. 50. Ah, oh, senor, I knew that you were a kind man. Lil Pablo will will forever be grateful. However, I think I will arrest you anyway. What does this case be for us today? This gringo, who is my client, is accused of not contributing to Lil Pablo Abcut. What? Wait, is he as the most despicable case I have ever had before me? Wait a por el el mule, Ibe raised him since he was but a glean in his father's eye. He has been my friend since I was a child and he a fool, and this, this. Oh I can't go on anymore, I am too emotional. So what is your verdict, your honor? What? Oh, healthy, next. snatches the bottle from you and eyes it hungrily. 
He leaves to investigate it a bit further, dropping the object he was trying so hard to conceal in the process. As you hit the statue with the hammer, it shatters into dust. You are left with what appears to be a pupa in your hand. You stick your head out the door, which the guard fortunately left open, and seeing that nobody is about, quickly gran a cab and get off to the airport. Thank you for choosing Wing and a Prayer Airlines, sir. You may end plane now, if you so wish. Enjoy. You board the plane and immediately doze off. The flight passes without incident and you wake up on landing. Okay, bud, where y'all wanna go? Aviation way. Okay, I'm on my way. in banging your head on the locked door. You manage to slip the card into the thin crack at the side of the door, and after moving it about a bit, the lock snaps back with a click. It's full. Try as you might, you just can't manage to juggle it along with everything else that you're carrying. As soon as you drop it, a very ugly little creature suddenly appears, snatches it up, and disappears in the direction of the hotel. Floor. Try as you might, you just can't manage to juggle it along with everything else that you're carrying. As soon as you drop it, a very ugly little creature suddenly appears, snatches it up, and disappears. As soon as you drop it, a very ugly little creature suddenly appears, snatches it up, and disappears. As soon as you drop it, a very ugly little creature suddenly appears, snatches it up, and disappears. It looks like a reel of film. Hey, now there's a surprise. It has the word property written on it. Okay, bud, where y'all wanna go? Studios. Okay, I'm on my way. It is a string of love beads. They were used instead of expensive jewelry in the 60s when polished clay was a girl's best friend.
Call me a taxi, please. I'm afraid all the taxis around are booked solid at the moment, sir. Couldn't you find just one? Well, there's one guy I know who would possibly take you for cash in advance. Would ten dollars be okay? I'm sure that would do admirably, sir. Just a moment. Your taxi is waiting outside, sir. So long then, I'm off. Have a nice day, sir. Okay, bud, where y'all wanna go? EWJ Airport. Okay, I'm on my way. Hello, Mr. Peters, sir. Where are you flying today? Australia. Oh, how nice, sir. Have a good one. You board the plane and immediately doze off. The flight passes without incident, and you wake up on landing. You are on the steps of the Sydney Opera House at Bennelong Point. It's a rat bag surfie, probably a Victorian. It's a rat bag surfie. It's a rat bag surfie, probably a Queenslander. They don't come built like her very often. Hi there, nice weather. You like, uh, most excellent. Do you surf? No, like we consider it pretty unhip and ungroovy, and generally have negative vibes about it, man. Are you a hippie? Hey man, like please, we're children of the love generation. Would you like these beads? Hey yeah, like way cool man, you should meet some friends of mine, they're just over there a bit. You notice for the first time the little path that she indicates, and so out of curiosity, you follow it. Hello, Mr. Peters, sir. Where are you flying today? Home, actually. Oh, how nice, sir. Have a good one. You board the plane and immediately doze off. The flight passes without incident and you wake up on landing. 
Okay, bud, where y'all wanna go? Flick Studios. Okay, I'm on my way. Tan man, yeah. Yeah, I got it in Australia. Hey, I used to be a hippie in Australia. Wow, I wonder how all the guys back at the commune are getting on. Is that the commune near Sydney? Hey, yeah, you know them? Say, if you're by the way again, will you say that Fred said hi? Sure thing, no problem. Hey, great meeting you, man. Like, see you around. in his food. It's a cup and saucer, not Wedgwood, and both are massively full of coffee. It's a promotional item from some computer game called Lotus Turbo Challenge 2. Try as you might, you just can't manage to juggle it along with everything else that you're carrying. As soon as you drop it, a very ugly little creature suddenly appears, snatches it up, and disappears. It is a young woman dressed like a waitress. She looks vaguely familiar. There's nothing special about it. Try as you might, you just can't manage to juggle it along with everything else that you're carrying. As soon as you drop it, a very ugly little creature suddenly appears, snatches it up, and disappears. Call me a taxi, please. Certainly, sir. Just a moment. Your taxi is waiting outside, sir. So long then, I'm off. Have a nice day, sir. Okay, bud, where y'all wanna go? Aviation way. Okay, I'm on my way. Hello, Mr. Peters, sir. Where are you flying today? Australia. Oh, how nice, sir. Have a good one. You board the plane and immediately doze off. The flight passes without incident and you wake up on landing.
Hi guys, how are the vibes? Hey like, pretty cool man. Hey, you know a guy called Fred? Like hey, yeah sure. Wow, you're a mate of Fred's. Like we haven't seen that guy in ages. Hey, he left this can of film behind. Maybe you'd give it to him next time you see him. Seen any aliens around? Uh, well not that I could swear to anyway. Like, hang loose dudes? Yeah, okay. Peace, brother. It is a reel of film. On the cassette is written HK. Hello there. Speak up a bit, mate. I can't hear you. I said hello there. I still can't hear you, Cobber. Can't you speak up a bit? Were you in that crocodile film? It's no use. Can you come a bit closer? You try to get a bit closer to him, but as you make your way down to him, you step on a red herring that somebody left carelessly lying around and... You strap the tank to your back and take a big gulp of air. Try as you might, you just can't manage to juggle it along with everything else that you're carrying. As soon as you drop it, a very ugly little creature suddenly appears, snatches it up, and disappears. The balloon inflates and increases your buoyancy just enough to drag both you and Crowbar to the surface, by which time the balloon is back to its former limp glory. Oh, hello, Mr. Peters, sir. Where are you flying today? Hong Kong. Oh, how nice, sir. Have a good one. He looks like a movie mogul. You are beginning to recognize them by now. You are inside a movie mogul's home. Hello there. Hello stranger. What are you doing around here? The cabbie left me here. I am not in mood for talk now. Thieves have stolen something very important to me. Oh yes, tell me more. It is a rare Natsuke, which has come down from my ancestors. I think I'll go now. Okay, goodbye. I wonder will I ever see it again.
Oh, hello, Mr. Peters, sir. Where are you flying today? Washington. Oh, how nice, sir. Have a good one. You board the plane and immediately doze off. The flight passes without incident and you wake up on landing. Read my lips no more, taxes. You may be just what we are looking for. We need a man for a top secret mission, which I can't tell you about here. Come with me and I'll explain further. Now then, what we need is a man to go into Cuba undercover. We here at the CIA believe that those commies are actually aliens from outer space, and they are trying to subvert our youth with purple breakfast cereals with funny-shaped marshmallow bits. We need some confirmation of this, and you appear to be the right man for the job. A few items of Cuban merchandise will be sufficient to allow our scientists to analyze the effect of this most heinous threat. When you return, give them to the chief. Well, good luck. I'm going to ask you a few questions to determine your suitability to reside in this great country of ours. Now then, have you ever been a member of a subversive group? Uh... Do you think that Dan Quayle should be on the first manned mission to Pluto? Uh... Recite the Constitution backwards. Well... What's the square root of pi times two? Uh... Why did the chicken cross the road? Ah, uh, let's see. If I have two apples and someone gives me another two, do I then have a lot of apples? Uh. Well, having analyzed the results comprehensively, I have come to the conclusion that you be deported. member of the moral majority and a ditherer to boot. Furthermore, your ability to read Japanese style is retarded as is your mathematical ability. You don't know the old traditional jokes, plus there are signs that you don't like apple pie. Therefore, you are found guilty of un-American behavior. Si no alcanzas el jonrón, pues vuelva a casa rápido. Hey, if I've got this translation right, it would seem that this guy's a baseball fan. Ah, señor. So you are not a gringo after all. You spend a couple of hours discussing batting averages and home runs from last year's World Series, after which he sends you on your way with a box of finest Havana cigars and a poster. Well, you're back. Have you succeeded in your mission? Very good. Have you anything else?
Excellent, these will be most helpful. Now, I think you may find someone who can help you in your quest at the Smithsonian Institution. takes no notice at all. Wow! This is more like it. We've been looking for a specimen of this for ages. I must have it analyzed immediately. Jimmy Hoffa, New York. It has a label saying Andy Mann, Paris. It has a label saying Eskimo, Lapland. It has a label saying Count Alucard, Transylvania. It has a label saying O.R. Yental, Hong Kong. Hey, this is probably the movie Moguls. And guess what? There's a rude Netsky here. And wait, a reel of film. It's a reel of film. On the cartridge is the word song. Hello, Mr. Peters, sir. Where are you flying today? Hong Kong. Oh, how nice, sir. Have a good one. You board the plane and immediately doze off. The flight passes without incident and you wake up on landing. Thanks, and may the fruit of your loins be plentiful. Please take this as a small token of my esteem. He gives you a talisman. Brothers, 
the sacred talisman of the 15th Buddha of the Upper Yangtze has been restored to us. This stranger has passed the test and may therefore proceed to the seventh state of Nirvana. Go now, and don't forget to send us a postcard. Well, looks like there isn't much choice in the where to go stakes. The mighty Wango be praised. You have found the secret battle plan stolen from us by the evil Emperor Zagaz, who is among you masquerading as a film producer. Had we not recovered them, he would no doubt have used them to reduce the entire universe to dust. We would take you to Zabdex, in the pleasure zone but our sensors indicate that the experience would be fatal. But thank you yet again for the safe return of the plans, and remember, keep watching the skies.